Hi there, let's learn how to construct angles. To do this, you will need a protractor, as you can see in the picture, and a ruler and a sharp pencil. You will need to be very accurate. So let's begin by constructing a 50 degree angle. We start an angle construction by drawing a straight line with our ruler and then by putting a point somewhere on that straight line. Make sure your straight line is long enough for your protractor to work across that line. Suppose we want a 50 degree angle. We always measure from the straight line that we have drawn to the right of the angle in an anti-clockwise direction. Let's have a look. Let's put our protractor with the bottom of the protractor 0180, that line that goes to 0180, on the line you have drawn and on the dot you place the very center of the protractor. That is very important. And now we want to measure 50 degrees going around. So we measure the inside because we don't want to count with 180. We want to start at 0 and go to 50. There is 50 over there. So I need to make a mark soon in a moment to remind me where 50 is. Let's do that. So I have worked around to the 50 degree and I have very carefully placed a mark just outside my protractor. All right, to recap, we placed our protractor on the line, we placed the sense of the protractor at the point and we went in an anti-clockwise position to find the number 50 on the protractor. Once you have done that, you can take your protractor away and you will have the point that you started with on the line and the point that you have made. Take your ruler and join the two points with a straight line and there you have your 50 degree angle. We like to label our angles as 50 degrees and you might be asked to label some points on the line as well as this point of intersection. Suppose we want to construct a different angle. Let's construct 134 degrees. Well, it works the same. We start off with a line and a point and we remember to go anti-clockwise around the point. We place our protractor carefully on the line with the middle of the protractor on the point and we work around to 134 and that's quite difficult to see. I can see where 130 is but I think I will need to zoom in to get to 134 because I have to use these little numbers over here and there it is. All right so I've made my mark and once you've made your mark you join the center and the mark and you label your angle 134. Well, what do you think happens when you're constructing an angle of 265 degrees? This one's a little bit more difficult to think about because you don't have a protractor that goes that far around, perhaps. My protractor only goes to 180. So I need the 180 and some more. So my first job is to work out the calculation to figure out how much more. So 265 without 180 leaves me with 85 degrees. I need to go 85 degrees beyond 180. Now I've drawn my straight line, I've made my point, and I know that from 0 to the straight line is 180 degrees. My protractor tells me that as well, but now I need to go more. So to do that, I place my protractor upside down. I've already got the 180 degrees over there, and now I want some more. I need to go. 85 more. Notice I'm still using the inside numbers to go to 85. I make my mark and I join the starting point and the mark that I have made with a ruler and I can label that big angle 265 degrees. I hope this has made sense and you've understood it.